How y'all are? Uh, School of Thought, Enrollment, Battle Blog. Um, this is a School of Thought Enrollment. It's not an actual numbered, uh, official numbered event. Uh, it's an officially sanctioned School of Thought event. Um, kind of one of you know, little side events uh, that the uh, School of Thought's done before. Kind of give uh, some some cats with not as much footage out or what have you a chance to shine. So, uh, uh, I, you know, there, there was one called Art Class, and I didn't do one of these blogs for it. And I asked the alumni, should I do one for this? And it was a... Uh, unanimous yes, so uh, about to do a blog on it. Like to hear it, here it go. Um, first battle of the night. <clears throat> it's going to be uh, C4 versus Dilemma. Now, we've seen Dilemma multiple times. Dilemma is, is a certified vet at this point. You know, School of Thought, Texas Battle League, Spit That Heat Out Atlanta, a couple other leagues, I'm pretty sure. I think, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's more than that. Um, dude is a beast. We know, you know, it's, it's nothing new. We know what the fuck Dilemma is capable of. Bars. Um, he's going against C4. Now C4, um, I, first time I saw him was uh, the uh, local heat DEFCON event up at the Capitol. Uh, not too shabby, had some shit. Um, not, you know, nothing wig splitting necessarily. Uh, then I saw a uh, grind time tryout highlight reel with this dude. Apparently he went to uh, San Antonio and tried out for grind time and, and grind time made a, a highlight reel of it. And from what I saw on that, on the, what I saw from him on that was significantly better than what I saw from him at, at, at the Capitol. Um, now it was it was a highlight reel, you know. You know, so it's hard to get a real fill for you know just a handful of the best bars, as you know, as opposed to an entire battle. But still, you know, shit was on point. Um, uh, and outside of that, I don't really know much about C4. You know, um, I do know that um, uh, uh, these two cats have kind of been jawing back and forth on Facebook and stuff. I you thought know, you know, you know, pretty sure it's not no real shit. Just just typical bat, you know, pre-battle getting your opponent's head shit, but. You know, anytime going into a battle, anytime there's extracurricular shit, whether it's real beef and they really don't like each other or they're just, you know, talking, John, whatever, it still makes the battle that much more interesting. So, you know, uh, C4 and Dilemma. Yeah. Uh, next battle. Uh, Monty versus Chuck DZ. Now, um, Monty, okay, uh, School of Thought is uh, Ronnie Harris's brainchild, obviously. Uh, from what I understand, this particular event, Monty is either doing it all himself or has a big hand in this. So, and putting this whole shit together. So, um, just like when when uh, Ronnie puts them puts these events together and battles at them, he gets extra credit before he spits a bar. Same here with Monty in this case. You know, if he, he all the bullshit that could go wrong, you know, people, no shows, camera shuts down, venue blows up, whatever the fuck, Monty's got to deal with that. So you know, um, you know, shout out to Monty for you know before he even spits a bar. Now, as far as in ring shit, um, you know, m m you know. Monty's been around at this point. We've seen him a couple times, a few times. You know, we know what the fuck uh, uh, Monty is going to do. He's got bars. You know what I'm saying? He's cut from that battle rap cloth. Uh, I, you know, I don't foresee a situation where he don't show up with bars. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Um, he's battling Chuck DZ. Now, I know I've seen Chuck DZ at least once in, in DEF CON, and maybe he's got a couple battles over there that I've seen, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen him more than once online. Um, uh, and not too shabby. I remember thinking when I saw Chuck DZ, he was really raw. A lot of raw talent, potential, a little rough around the edges, a couple few kinks. Nothing that can't, you know, you know, uh, you know, no, you know that, that rawness is there. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, this is the perfect type of situation for an MC like that. You know what I'm saying? Come in, sharpen your fucking blade, cut your teeth. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good look for everybody involved. So, uh, Monty, Chuck DZ, yeah. Um, LA versus Nova. Now, when I talk about LA, I end up you know, on these blogs and shit. I end up saying a lot of the same shit that I say about Monty, because both of those dudes are kind of from, in my head are kind of from the same class. Like you know, younger dudes, you know, where we had multiple events before they ever showed up, and since they showed up, they've been putting in work, proving themselves, all that. Um, and he's a battle rapper's battle rapper, like you know, like I said before, um, you know, um, and, and 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 LA understands. The psychology, the and Monty, both these cats um, understand the psychology of battle rap. Um, I've said this. What I'm about to say, I've said in some form or fashion, a gang of times in these in these blogs. Just because you can rap, you can you know you can write a song, you can you know you can you can freestyle and and pull it together and make it sound dope, doesn't mean you can do this. This takes a completely different type of psychology to 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 you know uh, strategy and psychology than it is to just rap. Yes, it's rap. But it's not just rap; it's battle rap. Um, you know, it's like it's like you know, 
you know, it doesn't matter how many street fights, bar fights, fist fights you've been in in your life, that don't translate to MMA. MMA, even though it's fighting, it's a completely different fucking beast. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but, you know, L.A. understands the psychology of battle. He, you know, he, you know, he, he, he's going to bring bars. We know L.A.'s been around enough. We know where L.A.'s coming from. He's got bars. Um, now, C. Snova, don't know, don't know, basically don't know anything about him. I know uh, before the flyer came out uh, on online, somebody typed it up, L.A. versus Cease and Nova. They put an and sign in there, and I thought L.A. went hand bone and was going to do a two-on-one handicap match. But apparently, C. Snova is one dude, and I don't know much about him. I know it's... Uh, he is a body counts boy, apparently. And, you know, body count no, is, is a solid dude. He knows what this is. He ain't gonna throw one. You know, he ain't gonna throw nobody in the, in with the sharks that can't swim. So you know, um, um, you know, so to do just to be on the card, the dude's gotta have some type of provable skill. You know what I'm saying? To be in the building. So you know, I don't know much about the dude, but we are gonna find out. L.A. versus C. Snowball. Um, main event: AWAX versus Body Count. Now. When we saw a, it's gonna be a style clash first, right off the bat. Style, two two differing styles. Um, now, last time we saw AWAX against Neek, last event, just here not too long ago. Um, and if you didn't have, if you didn't have um, AWAX down as a as a vet or a threat, you do now. After that battle, you do now. And if you don't, we don't have Dance Dance Revolution, so you're dumb. Um, you know, AWAX got bars. He went toe to toe with Neek, arguably the best cat around, and gave Neek all he wanted. You know what I'm saying? So, Wax gonna show up with bars too. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we, there's no reason for me to think Wax ain't gonna show up as sharp as he was against Neek, um, against Body Count. Now, Body Count, um, his, his his whole style is unorthodox to me. You know, he's like one of unorthodox boxers. Um, and his strong point is uh, uh, just his persona, his presentation. He's a little bit like uh, D'Lo. When I, when I discuss D'Lo on these blogs and I say he's got that inten intangible thing that just makes you want to check, like, what, oh, what's he going to say? You know, like that type of thing. When body count starts to rap, you tune in. You know what I mean? Um, so if you are into bars, penmanship, lyrics, AWAX is your guy. If you're into all-around entertainment from top, you know, you know, capture your attention, you know, easily, that type of shit, body count is going to be your guy. Uh, now, here, here's a couple interesting points about this one. Now, now, AWACS went against Neek, a little bit like fighting the biggest, toughest bully in the yard. If you know at 3 o'clock today, I got to I gotta fight the bully. The bully said he, the biggest bully in, in school said he's going to kick my ass at 3 o'clock today. What do you do? You fucking... Start preparing yourself mentally. Thumb your fucking nose. Look at yourself in the mirror. Punch a fucking meat carcass in a frozen meat locker. Whatever the fuck you got to do to get yourself up to, to kick the bully's ass. So what happens when a week or two later, uh, uh, not as big a bully, not as tough a bully tries to fight you? It's harder as just human nature to get yourself up in a short amount of time for a lesser opponent. Now that's no fucking disrespect to body count in the least. You know what I'm saying? It's just a fact. Body count don't have the, the resume that Neek does. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm not saying wax, you know, wax is going to have a fall off or let down or whatever. I'm just saying interesting point, possibly. Um, you know, if the Thunder, you know, play the Heat, Miami Heat, and it goes to three overtimes and everybody's on 10 and electricity, ah, and then two days later you got to fight, you got to play, uh, you, know, who, you know, the Pelicans or Bobcats or who the fuck ever. It's just human nature. To, to, for it to be harder to get yourself up like that after going at, 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 a, at a super opponent, if you will. Um, and now uh, uh, a little thing about body count. Um, he, he had a battle that was supposed to happen at the, 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 the def, uh, at the uh, Dirtbag Dance show that came through a couple weeks ago. And I've heard a couple different versions. I don't know the real story. Not, don't, you know, don't even care. Um, uh, didn't happen. No show, whatever the fuck was the situation. Battle didn't happen. So you that you so you know that's gotta irk body count. You know this motherfucker's ready to eat now. If your boys call you and say, Hey, we're gonna pick you up at noon and we're gonna go eat at uh Golden Corral. We're gonna tear some Golden Corral up. We're about to eat. And they don't show up till seven o'clock. Now it's dinner time and you miss lunch, you skip the fucking meal. Now when you get to the next when you get to that meal now, you really gonna eat. You know what I'm saying? That meal's gonna be delicious by the time you gonna fuck that meal up by the time you get to it. I expect body count to have that type of mind frame because you know he was ready to eat at that last at the last last time he was ready to eat, it didn't get to happen. So you know, either way, I you know a lot of these battles all these battles have at least one cat that I'm not sure about or don't know about or whatever. Um 
this battle here, I know both cats, and I and I can say unequivocally, whatever the fuck, uh, uh, if both these cats show up and do what they're supposed to do, it's gonna be an instant classic. You know, with, you know, there's no way both of these cats aren't gonna put on a show if they show up and and and, and perform up to par. Um, all right, so business of it. School of Thought enrollment event May 9th at the Twisted Root Art Gallery, 3012 North uh, North Walker Avenue. Uh, doors at seven. No, doors at nine. Seven dollars to get in. Doors at nine. Seven dollars to get in the door. Donnie Harris, Ronnie's wife, gave me shit because I flubbed that on the last block. Doors at nine. Seven dollars to get in. 